Peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. And today we are going to have some good time. And there is a Muhammadan who he claimed that he is a sheikh. And he, you know, Christians are running away from him. And today we will show the Muslims that this guy is just a kid. Like the rest of them. So please invite your friends. His name is Munqid al-Saqqar. I thought his name is Munzir. Al-Saqqar, which means a kafir, liar, and a person who insults a lot. This is his name. So right now, actually, I'm waiting for him to go live. Until now, he did not go live, you know. And I hope he will. The title here says, The Story of Running Away of the Hero, or let us say, the Heroism of Zachariah Botros. Zachariah Botros is a Christian uh, Coptic priest who, uh, you know, you know, exposing Islam for a long time. He's a very old man. He's like over 80, I guess. So those kids, you know, they go and they try to harass him. So I said, you know what? Let us show them their size. So this is me. I'm going to post again. So now he is supposed to go live right now, but he is not going yet. Supposedly, he should be live already. So let us say, I'm typing in for him in Arabic. So I said to him, Ya Saqqar, give me your Skype immediately so we can see how hero you are. And I don't know if he is going to even come online. So those his, uh, and, and the funny is, nobody is even waiting for him. It is 17 people waiting for him. This is how important he is. After all this drama and, you know, blah, 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 blah. And he set the date for people to come to watch him. Not even 17 people here. And I don't know if he's going to come because I'm sure the Muslim, they told him that Christian Prince, he posted for you many times asking you to give your Skype and call. Actually, let, open, let me open my Skype. Give me a second. And even if he did not give me his Skype, I will try to search it and call him. I want to see who is this potato who claim people ran away from him. Give me a second. Munqid al-Saqqar. Okay, I found only one name. But I'm not sure if this is him or not. I just did search. But usually those, uh, you know, potatoes, they will put pictures of Quran or picture of himself. He called himself Sheikh. I don't see any of that here. So we will need to be sure. Actually, the name here is says Saqqard. Yeah, this is a different name. I could not find the name by searching in Skype. Anyway. So we will wait for him to show up and let us see the man. The man who Muslim, the Christians run away from him. Brother, the story of the Christians of movie after movie and this guy, he keep moving by posting video. This guy, he run away from me. This guy, he run away and this guy and that guy and every guy. <laughs> And we are waiting until now he did not show up. So I want to see really if he is a truly a hero. You know, a person who people are afraid of him. Do you think he is going to be scared to give his Skype and call him in his channel? Just ask yourself. If they are really truthful in who they claim to be. I think this will be a great opportunity for him to add one more victory. It is his channel. Maybe he is not going to accept because uh, he is afraid that we will take him from, from inside the, the egg. We will see. You see, I'm the one who's calling him. 
I, I am the one will call you on your channel. So the Muslim, they have excuse. Oh, you know, he, uh, Christian Prince, he control you. I'm calling you. Nobody can control you. It's your channel. You are going live. And we are waiting. Let me type again. Aina Sakar, Halwala, Hal Harab. Nahnu Nantazirun, Nahnu Montezirun, Ayarajol. أينك يا سقار أرنا المنقار سوف سوف يكون الأمر مضحكا إن لم يأتي. Just take a note, please. I'm going to speak to him in Arabic, and I will try to translate if you know he don't mind. But if not, we will make another video translating what he said to you. All right. Just be patient in case. Well, he can be upset as much. All of them, they are upset. Have you ever uh, seen a Muslim is not upset? They are always up and set. But I want to show everybody that this guy is not even, he, he don't even know a basic things about Islam. He call himself a doctor, you know. Everybody will see in two minutes how stupid he is. But let us see first if he will, you know, if he will dare to say, okay, you know what? I, we got a fish. He should be happy. He should say, we got a fish. He should be so excited. I mean, what a great opportunity. Look, 18 people waiting for him already. Uh, four of them, they are from here. Even Muslims are not waiting for him. <laughs> we will see. It's going to be very embarrassing if he did not show up. You see, yesterday we say, okay, yesterday he did not show up. Oh, you know, maybe today. Okay, maybe he changed the day today. Okay, no problem. So today now we came on time. I came online specifically, so just I will talk to him. I'm not the one to consider it as a, a debate. I'm considering a conversation. I mean, I cannot debate an idiot. You cannot debate as a liar. And you cannot debate somebody. He, he don't have the skills and the knowledge. But we want to show the Muslims who is he, how small, how big he is. If he is a, if he is big, man, he will have a big victory for Allah. Hmm? If he's not, he will look like a chicken. Literally. And we are waiting. What time supposedly? Is it? Uh... Maybe maybe six minutes left. I don't know. For me, it says here. Okay, maybe now he will come. Let us see. We will give it some time. So, Fanara, in Kana Rajulan and Ammara. You know, the Muslims, like if you see this guy, he starts insulting, like, hey, the, you know, the, 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 the rooster, maybe today the rooster will lay eggs. Okay, we will see today who is the rooster and who is going to lay eggs. Sakar will school CP inside their second in a debate. Okay, oh, go. Okay, Tariq, why you don't go right now and call your friend and tell him, man, this guy is waiting for you. As long as he can school me in a second. Hmm? I mean, you just 
you just give me a proof that you have no hesitation and no reason not to give me his Skype. If you, re if you refuse to give me Skype, that means he is really run away. I mean, this guy, he keeps saying people run away from him. Here we go. We are in his channel. We will see. You know, in Arabic, we say, The water will expose the false diver. There's many, they speak about how deep they can go and how good they are in diving, as long as they are in the desert. Let us see how good he is in diving. We are waiting. Please invite your friends, guys. And just forgive me if I could not translate immediately. Don't worry, we will finish and we will translate. All right? In case... Uh, I will see if he, because he might ex make excuse, you know, I don't want to give him any excuse. Any, ex any, 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 any excuse. You know? Because this is what they do. The second you say, okay, I'm ready, let us debate, he will say, okay, we have to put conditions. Uh, you, etc., and I, etc. No, 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 no. Don't put conditions. Conditions is only for the weak. Those who put conditions is the one who is trying to make it impossible to happen. What conditions? Here we go. I'm calling you. Yeah. Even here, need conditions. What condition? You know, they will start debating you about how we can debate. <laughs> He might spend a half hour telling me how to debate, how to debate the debate. We are waiting. <clears throat> and then now he did not start his, pro <coughs> his program. And actually my voice is tired, you know. I mean, yesterday I spent six, six hours, seven hours on life on air. But we will see the man. If the man he dared to be a man. We are still waiting. Yeah, now they will make a they will go into the dictionary and he will start looking what debate mean. If you see if you see his channel, this guy like he they run away from me. They are running. This guy, and he named one after one. And you know, I saw his last uh uh, argument with the brother Rashid, who is an ex-Muslim from Morocco. I mean, he 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 just exposed himself, actually. Well, in in order to call him, I have to get their Skype. So, can you help me get me their Skype? Well, how I can do? You know, how I can call them? In order to call, I know you know I need to. And now I'm sure I'm going to post again and again and again. Give me your Skype, give me your Skype, and he will not respond. He will not. Let us see if I'm wrong or right. Because this is my experience, you know. This is my experience with them. Those people, they are heroes. Uh, as long they are, you know, speaking to themselves. And they are heroes with a slide uh, uh, presentation. Like, you know, they go in the internet and they take screenshot and they, uh, you know, they, they make a debate about the screenshot. But he himself, he cannot read even what it says in the screenshot. Let us see. No, no, we don't want people to go there and support them, just to stay. You know, it's a, the chat there is in Arabic, really, anyway. This guy, he claimed to be a doctor, but I assure you, he did not know uh, one single word in English. You know? Those are Middle Eastern doctors, usually they buy their degrees from Shish Kebab Falafel restaurant. We know them. We know how it is.
Enter now, no sign. Nothing is moving. Oh boy. And now I know. I mean, do you Muslims really believe this guy? He can uh, people run away from him. I mean, this guy, Father Zakaria, he is you know he is exposing Islam for the last century. I mean, I was a kid when he was making fun of Muhammad and showing people how stupid Muhammad is. Do you think really someone like Zakaria he will run away? And Zakaria always he have his uh, his phone number on the screen. What about you call him? What this is drama about? I challenge you to debate me. Do you challenge me to debate you? What this drama is about? Here we go. I open my Skype every day. Anyone? Oh, he started. Hold on. He started. He started. Where is the where is the guy? This is a different guy. I'm not going to play his voice for now. Actually, let me play the voice at least for me so he cannot make us a copyright issue. All right. Let us see. Here we go. We are asking. You see, they are live. They are live. I don't know who is this guy there. Huh? And we are asking, give us the, give us your Skype. <laughs> we are waiting. Give us give us your Skype to call you. Hmm. Potato. So and now they are talking. A, a person he called Father Zakaria and he says to him, "I challenge you! I challenge you! I challenge you to make a debate with this guy, a Sakor." We are here. Here we go. Until now, no answer. <laughs> Until now, I receive no answer in the chat. Let me show you more of the chat. Potato, the same as your profit. Here we go. Ya Saqar, atina al Skype, kay natasil. Ya Batal, give us your Skype. This guy is saying he he even challenged uh, Munzer Munkiz Mun Sakar. Can you believe it? Like this guy, I'm just you know what? I'm going to make a series of videos in Arabic, and I will make him the joke of everybody. And here we go. Let us post again. Sakaru ya Sakar. Inaka lema boonun tharthar. We are waiting. They are just bashing, you know. They are just bashing uh, Father Zechariah and bragging about oh, they are running away from us. <laughs> we are waiting. We are waiting. Until now, there is no answer. Not a single answer. Not a single potato answer. What a shame. La takun jaban. Ya saqar.
Hmm. Look like nothing will happen. They aren't even answering. Hmm. And look, 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 this guy, he just said in the video here, okay, uh, okay, you want to do, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, debate? Okay, okay, give us the topic, give us a topic so we can prepare ourselves. You see, this is how you know if a person is really a shake or not. All of you are shaky. So they will go in the internet and they will copy 1,000 sc uh, uh, screenshot and to prepare for the debate. Are you saying you are not ready always? Are you saying your religion is not with you? Here we go. Let us type again. Mm. Sakarakum uh. Parir La Yujib. رب المسلمين ودان اعطيني اا وات اي ويل سي اوكي جيف مي يور سكايب ايد سكايب all right. Let us copy it so we don't keep typing it again and again. Your saqar is empty. Where is the saqar? Aina huwa saqarakum. Aina anta ya saqar. Anta now. There is no, not a single answer in the chat. You know, when you when you run a live, obviously at least somebody is taking care of the chat. At least. But as you see, they are not answering. And all of what they are saying now, okay, let us do this for the bit about those topic one this one they just 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 go for it there's no need to prepare if you are a man do as you say and say as you do can you stand for your belief saqarakum farigh la yujib ka rabbul muslimin al mutahaddi aati al skype aina jawab la jawab لا حياة لمن تنادي. Just a drama. Tarek is calling me in Arabic. He says, هل أنت سكران؟ يا طارق اسمك الطارق. ربك قال في النجم الطارق وقال وعلى ما يبدو أنه كان سكران. أين التحدي؟ حتى الآن لا إجابة أين هو السقار الثرثار سوف أضع It looks like you can even add a comment underneath here. So I added a comment already. So in the chat, in the comment, everywhere we are saying, okay, where is the one who want to debate us? And they are not doing it. What I will do? You tell me. Potatoes. Literally, potatoes. Too much noise, like a drum, you know? Uh... Uh, you know, uh, 
We can do this. You cannot debate us. Christian Prince, we challenge you to debate us uh, face to face. This all the excuse. All of them, they have the same excuse. Now this guy, he debate online. Actually, all of them, they debate online. All of them. But the second I come to them, they want to debate face to face. Aina Sakor. Kabilna Tahadi. Asakaru. Deacon Laya Beard. Here we go. We are waiting for Saqqar, the one who claimed that Christians are running away from him. Until now, not a single answer in the chat. All what we see is just calling names. A guy, his, his name is Salahuddin, he said, Come, come, Christian Prince, I will wipe the floor with your religion. Okay, let us call. Here we go. Either you call me or I will call you. Let us see who can wipe the floor. <laughs> come here, come here. I will wipe the floor with you. <laughs> Where is the brave? And you know, what, what the heck is that? And look, they are ignoring my, my text. The, 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 the owner of the channel, he is not even there. He is ignoring all what I'm saying. We have uh, we have this guy, uh, the metaphorical guy. Hello? Hello, Christian Prince. How are you? Hello, my friend. We are waiting for a sheikh. We want to debate him, if you don't mind. Who's sheikh? Uh, he's a sheikh. He claimed that the Christian ran away from him. And we are in his chat asking him to give us his Skype, and he is not doing it. Can you can you ask him to give us his Skype? Well, to be honest, I don't know who you're talking about, so I can't really help you. Oh, I'm sorry. okay. Well, I mean, he claimed that he is strong, and Christians are running away from him. And you know, like I, I always open my Skype for everybody. So those who they claim that uh, they can debate and they are heroes why they don't do the same but you're a sky for everybody and everybody will call you okay but uh christian prince the way you talk to people the way you engage is not right you have to let people talk my friend do you understand I, you can treat me the same as i treat you no problem because no. it's an open mic it's an open mic so here we go you can interrupt no. me interrupt me here we go. you're interrupting me you're interrupting me yeah, but... so how come i cannot interrupt you but you can interrupt me no, <laughs> okay. So we. I was talking. Today, you said yeah? now, now, meow, meow, meow. I was talking, and you start saying meow, meow, meow. So what the problem? Here we go. Interrupt me. What the problem? Why you are crying? But simply, you cannot answer. I ask you to go and find me the answer for which one Allah created first, the mountains. So we yeah. or or the stars. It took you forty-five minutes. You came to me and you said I did not find the answer. Okay, just give me the reference then. See, you are scared to give to 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 give me the answer because you want to change the answer depending on the reference. <laughs> well, if you if you give me the reference, yeah, if you give me the reference, I'll look at it, then, then I'll see, right? <laughs> my friend, don't waste my time. Let me finish with this uh, shake. We are waiting for him to answer, so we will call him because you want to die laughing, all right? Okay, I'm and... going to. Um, I won't be able to speak to you then, yeah. I'm working late, and maybe tomorrow then, yeah. Uh, okay, no problem. Drama time. Yeah. Aina Sakar Kadagaba Wamahul Min Shor. Kadab Kadabunya Sakar. 
تدعي انك تتحدث الاخ سليمان والشيخ ابو عمر الباحث قعدوا 50 دقيقه او اكثر من 50 دقيقه علشان بس يقول لك احنا قابلنا المناظره عايز دكتور منقذ يجي لك انت ويعرض كلامه وانت ترد عليه في حلقتك دي اسمها مناظره فده كان التحدي بتاعي بس اعمل ايه بقى للي ما بيفهموش الكلام احنا اللي ما بنفهمش ولا انت اللي مدلس وكذاب كان التحدي ان ياتي هو ويعرض الكلام بتاعه فما جاش لكن ارسل لي الفيديو يبقى عرفنا ان زكريا بطرس عايز يعمل ايه عايز دكتور منقذ يتصل بيه على التليفون يقعد بالساعه منتظر الباشا يرد عليه وبعد كده دكتور منقذ يقول له على بعض المسائل فيرد عليه زكريا بطرس وطبعا يقفل المايك عليه او يفصل الخط زي ما هو بيتعود ده يبقى اسمه مناظره They said that if we call them in their channel, they will hang up on us. Okay, I'm calling you in channel. Here we go. I'm calling you on your channel. Hmm. Obviously, they will not. You know, they will not. Uh, you know, they are just a bunch of cowards. They are just a bunch of cowards. And this is my invitation for all the Muslims. If this guy is a real guy, there's no need to, for, to make a drama about how to debate and you call me and I call you. Here we go, I will call you. And there's no need to cry, you will hang up on me and I hang up on you, I will call you, you hang up on me. And there's no need to cry how we can make the debate happen and how many minutes for you, take minutes as much you want. Just leave my microphone open. Can you? They will not. They are potatoes. Potato. I keep posting until now. Not a single answer in the chat. Not a single answer. Stop kids talk. I'm saying to them, give me the Skype and don't challenge a guy. He is over the age of 80, you know? I mean, I really appreciate this man, Father Zachariah. He is over the age of 80. He should be resting at home, but yet he is taking all this stress. And you know, those Muslim kids, they, they try to bully an old man. I mean, they bully us. So why they will not bully such a man in such an age? And this is why actually I said to myself, let me show everybody that those bullies are a bunch of bunch of bullies and they are useless. Let us see. We are waiting. <clears throat> All right. We are waiting. Let us see. Sorry, I'm just typing. So we just said, okay, uh, this uh, one of them, he says, well, if he's old, let him apologize that he cannot do it. No, he did not even say he cannot do it. I'm saying that you are a bunch of kids bullying the old man, even though no one of you is match for him. No one. Uh, 
<laughs> we are still waiting. Potatoes. And then now zero answer. As you see. You see, remember, I'm the one who's going to their channel, so they have no excuse. So if they excuse, I will hang up on them. I'm calling you. So they want to debate themselves and they want to win the debate, you know. You won the debate. Hmm. Someone saying there is no need for a Skype. Let Christian Prince come uh, directly. What? What? I don't. What? Come where? <laughs> yeah, they are attacking. But where is the answer? I, I, can't, I don't know. This is what they do. I mean, they are potatoes. What do you expect? But we are waiting for. You could give us the, the stop <laughs> making drama <laughs> and give me. <laughs> You know, if you are a man, this guy is saying, if you are a man, let us see who is the man. Just let me talk to you. Potato. Why they feel that they are in trouble? Where is the heroes? Where is the brave? This drama. Come here. Let us debate about debate. Here we go. We have an admin. Yeah. Yeah, Iman. Atini Skype Asap Al Sakor. Okay, Atasil Vihi Mubashara. Tahadda Wakabilna Tahaddi. So now they have no excuse. We have an admin. Hmm? Here we go. Let us see. Here we go. We have the admin name, and next to it, we will make the post. So he cannot claim that he did not see it. <laughs> Give us the Skype. You see, their admin is there. We are waiting. They have no excuse now. They cannot say, oh, nobody was watching the chat. Nobody saw the chat. Nobody see what's happening. As you see, the admin is there. And we just called the admin by his name. All right. Here we go. Let us post it again. Maybe the admin is blind, you know. Let us do it again. Huh. The admin act as if he saw nothing. <clears throat> he saw nothing, they heard nothing. Cowards, potatoes. Drama. Hmm. Let us see. 
I keep posting. Nothing happening. They are dead. And you know, remember, I posted in his channel more than 48 hours ago. So he cannot say he did not see my post. I will call you when you go live next time. They cannot say I never heard. And they cannot say we did not come to them. And this guy is bragging the same, the same thing. They are heroes, brother. They are heroes. We are heroes. They run away from us, brother. Brother, the Christians, they are running away from us, brother. Who can debate us? Who? <laughs> and notice that the admin, he played dead. He's not even answering. <laughs> what a shaky shake. <laughs> You know that you will you will you will you will become like a cockroach. You know what will happen. Oh boy. Hmm. Look that you see the admin is there, but the admin don't answer, act as if he saw nothing. The admin <laughs> Just <laughs> uh, and you know, just to show you how big this guy is, 209, half of them is mine, my people, 209 people. I mean, do you see how great you are? I mean, if I am talking about, you know, how, how to, to make my bread, I will have more. What shake you are? 209 people, all of them, they are Christians, are in the channel right now. And they are keep asking you, give us the give us the Skype, give us the Skype. Where is the Skype? No answer. What a brave people. <clears throat> hmm? Coward. Potatoes. Or oh, what they need to do? Give me the sky and I will call. And then people will either will laugh at you or they will laugh at me. Very simple. And you know, I do not need to prepare. Uh, throw at me whatever you want. You see, when those people, they say we need to prepare, give us the topic. Do you know why they do that? Because simply they are not people of knowledge and they knew Islam is an embarrassment. Islam is an embarrassment. That's the whole story. Here we go. Oh boy. Let me retype this. We don't want to stay there. Uh, the admin now answers saying the Skype is not with me. Imagine this is the admin of the channel. So what? You don't have the Skype. Get contact the Zaqqa Saqqar. So look, the admin says I don't have the Skype. Look at the excuse. I told uh, uh, this guy, said, I don't have a Skype. I said, okay, call him, contact him, do what need to do something. We're here. Are you blind? What is it? What an excuse.
the uh, the admin says Zakaria Botros taught us uh, uh, the magic. <laughs> I will answer. I says it was Harut and Marut, you idiot. I said Harut and Marut, who, he is the one who taught the, the Muhammadan the magic. Hal tunqirul Quran ya sakran? Hmm. It doesn't matter. You know, somebody saying this is recorded. It doesn't matter, my friend. They are there, the admin there. Give me the Skype. Give me the Skype. Hmm. Potatoes. Anyway, let us uh, 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 let us type something here. Harab al Saqar wa Tal al Munkhar wa Laisa. Uh, let us uh, type, uh, let us see, just to say to them goodbye, obviously. I'm not going to stay there forever. Obviously, they would not answer. And actually, let me post my Skype. Give me a second. So they will have no excuse. Here we go. I mean, we are asking them for the Skype, right? Okay. Here we go. Our Skype. And I will post this in the comment section too. So they have no excuse whatsoever now. Let me post it in the comment section here. Saqqarakum maskhara. Hmm. I'm typing, I'm saying, uh, you know, what a joke he is. And now we will see how many, if after like, you know, he studied it and now he will look embarrassing. He will put like a million conditions to talk to me, you know. We go and this is my Skype now they have no excuse we got them busted we made them potatoes and 
I mean, what I can do more? I'm just there in the chat for the last, what, you know, 36 minutes. Can you believe it? Just trying to convince them to give us the Skype so I can call. Cowards. And the admin claimed that he don't have a Skype of this guy. So you work for him and you are with him. This guy, he never has uses Skype. And he is always, he uses Skype to contact and to call. And I searched for his name in, uh, you know, in uh, uh, in Skype. I could not find his name in Skype. I found a closed name. So it is, you know, uh, they are just insulting calling names. Hmm. All right. Well, I, I will ask all the Christian now if they hear me. Okay. All right, I'm done with them. Yeah. All right, guys, if those who they are there, just leave. All right, there's no, it's not worth it. Obviously, those potatoes, they will never let it happen. And we know why. And you know, okay, maybe today he cannot do it. Maybe today he did not eat uh, his vitamin and etc. Let us see, maybe tomorrow. But I assure you, he will make a video says, I eat selling you. Okay, we have 10 debate in my channel. And this is the conditions. Be my witness. Why you want to put conditions and no topic? No. One question from you, one question from me. Don't even try. Yeah, I, I just I just left because I'm not going to wait for them. That's it. Obviously, they are not going to do it. Let me change the title. Hmm? Munqid as -Sakar. كافرون ثرثار We change the title And now I will make some videos. No, no problem. He don't need to agree that he, you know, he, he is a coward. Just wait for my coming videos. I will make them live, but I will make them short. And, uh, you know, I will use what he said just to show you how stupid he is. I mean, this guy is so easy to demolish him as demolishing a, a tomato. A tomato, which is not even like, uh, I mean, I mean, uh, very ripe. Just to squeeze it, it's gone. You do not even to squeeze it. Cowards. They knew they are no match, and they knew, and the admin did not know his Skype. Have you ever heard of an admin of somebody do not know his Skype? Why? How come he called the TV station with his Skype? And now he do not know his Skype? Hmm. And why this uh, drama, you know, this guy run away from me, and uh, we put conditions, and the whole, the whole drama is about conditions. Here we go. I'm here for it. And I post for them my Skype, any of them. I don't care. His name is Susu, Dudu, Mumu, Kuku. I don't care. Give me a call. And not only that, I can call you on your program. So you have no excuse. I will call you in your live program as you just saw. Where are you? Potatoes. <clears throat> The funny that like, the guy he called me, he said, No, no, Christian Prince, you interrupt people. He was interrupting me. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was talking. No, 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 no. Like, what the heck? So he can interrupt me, I cannot interrupt him. This is a Muslim. Very low IQ. And you know the reason they want those kind of debate, like 10 minutes for you, 10 minutes for me. So I will show 1,000 slides, and now it's going to take you a century to answer those things. This is what they do. If you want to answer each one of them, 
you know, about each one he mentioned, uh, you will you will find. Let's have a conversation. Me and you talking in the same time, no problem. Open mic for me and you. You say something right away, I get you busted. Immediately. This is why they fear speaking to me. I don't do what other Christian does. I don't approve such a silly, stupid format of debate. Five minutes for me, five minutes for you. This is a joke. This is a kid's work. This is take you nowhere. A real debate is when there is a real argument between two and there is no moderator. Hey brother, uh, now you exceed uh, five seconds. The guy is in the middle of his thought and now he exceeds five seconds. The five second now is the important what he what not he what he's saying. This is what the debate is about. Are we here to recite? They remove my Skype from their comment. Are you sure? Well, that will be even more embarrassing if they do that <laughs> because you know, I mean, we have it recorded. Uh, you know what I mean? If this is what they did, as you, you are saying that, well, that would be embarrassment. Let me see if they uh, remove it. Let me look. Yeah, you are right. Guys, look at this. Look at those cowards. Look, 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 look. So the owner of the channel is there. Didn't I just post in front of you two comment at least? I don't see it. It's gone. They took my Skype away and they are still alive. <laughs> Let me pause it again. Be my witness. One second ago, it is there. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy and let me do some editing to it too okay why editing is not working hold on youtube froze oh, okay hold on now it's open i don't know I, I cannot do editing i think they removed already hold on because when i click editing It doesn't allow me to do anything. I think it's gone already. Yeah, it's gone. Look, look, I just posted a second ago. This is why I was clicking at editing to, to, to do editing and they took it off. Here we go, let me pause it. They are afraid even from my Skype, you know, I'm not even there. I'm just posting my Skype and they keep removing it. Can you believe it? Look, the guy after me, his name is user by 3OH9LB, right? We will leave it there for a few minutes and come back to check it out. And let us see what will happen. What a potatoes. What the potatoes? I mean, shame on you. I need for witnesses, don't I? Yeah. I need for witnesses. Yeah. It's gone. Again. Yeah. It's gone. Nobody. <laughs> Is the chat still running? Oh, they are. They are, they are done. They are finished. They are done. They are done. <laughs> I mean, do you see the brave? We go to their channel, they block me, they delete my comment, 
they delete my Skype, and this is how brave they are. And you know, the Christians ran away from us. Where is the Christians? This priest, uh, you know, he ran away from us. Okay, you are there, you know. <laughs> <laughs> my friend no this is not a link uh, skype is not a link skype is not a link you can post it everywhere go you can put this is not skype is not a link there's no www this is not a link it's an address it's a just words there's no link that's not true Anyway, uh, someone found his Skype. Okay, give it to me. Give it to me. I will call right now. No mercy. <coughs> where, where is the Skype? Who has the Skype? You say somebody found his Skype. Mm. I don't see any, anyone posting Skype for me. And you know, my sky posted in their uh, chat too. You see, it went through the chat. Anyway, what a bunch of kids, you know, bully people. You know, debate here we go, I will call you in your channel. Who is a Muslim? He knew a Muslim sheikh. He have a channel. He go live. Sheikh, I don't want to go with kids. Like this guy, he claimed to be a sheikh. He have a beard. He claimed to be a doctor in Islam. Okay, I will call you in your channel. What the problem? They will make, they will put, uh, they will make it like a thousand conditions to make it impossible to happen. You sent his Skype to my Skype. Okay, let me see. All right. Are you sure this is Skype? Let me search for it. Thank you very much, my friend. I got it. You are saying you think. Oh, I think you are right. It says, here we go. Hey, 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 hey. We got Dr. Munqid Asakar Skype. Are you sincerely ready? Let us call him. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Here we go. Is not online. He's offline, like Muhammad. Let me read. read you know, uh, leave him a message. Yeah, Sakar. It does be. All right. The Nasran Here we go. Sakar, call me. 
immediately. Brother, call me immediately. Where is the thing? Hold on. Oh boy. But do you think it's going to work? He will not, you know, we know, you know, we know the thing. I think Joe Biden, he will accept, but before, before a Saqqar, he accept. So I just say to him, oh, Saqqar, I did not insult him. I said, I, I, I say, okay, you are seeking victory uh, on, over the Christians. Just call me. We will give you victory. Ya Saqqar, ittasil bi fawran, in kunta tabghi, tabtaghi nasran, ala al-masihin, wa nahnu muntadhirun. What he will say now, I did not receive the message. He, this is his name, Dr. Munqid al saqqar And by the way, the word Saqqar in Arabic mean kafir, liar, and someone he insult people who do not deserve insult. Can you believe it? This is the last name of the... Uh, I mean, what kind of last name this is, last name? Just to show you, you know, I'm not making things up, you know. Let us see. Let me see if I can find it in, in English it, uh, translation, not hold on. Uh, okay. All right. I don't know when I post it in the in the same website in English it doesn't come. Uh, okay, hold on, let us see. But when I post it in Arabic, it come right away. Yeah. Okay, let's go to the Arabic then. Give me a second. Here we go. This is what a saqqar mean. Kafir, la'an. Like he's a he's a kafir. He's someone who insults those. Uh, it says la'an liman la yastahiqulan, which means he is a person who curses people who don't deserve to be cursed. As saqar al kathab, the liar. I mean, this is dictionary, and this is his name. Let me open the link here in in Google Translation. <laughs> what an honorable name, man! <laughs> May Allah bless you. <laughs> Just to show you, hold on, listen. This is the Muslim dictionary. This is a website, it's called Al Ma'ani. And I'm going to use Google Translation. Hold on. Translate. Hmm. The meaning of a sakkar, you see here, sakkar, in a comprehensive uh, dictionary meaning, okay. Sakkar mean. Uh, infidel the one who curses someone who does not deserve to be cursed al saqar is the liar <laughs> i did not insult i mean mr dictionary is doing great job alhamdulillah alhamdulillah brother aman rabbi aman aman rabbi aman what a great name i mean who gave you the <laughs> You, you earn the name, not you have the name. You earn it. Unbelievable. Kafir, you know, Kafir, a name, a Muslim, his name, last name is Kafir. Last name is a liar. Infidel. He is the one who curses people who don't deserve to be cursed. What a great name, man. So his last name is Dr. Munder the Liar. This is his last name. So when he say his name, he is saying Dr. Munqid the Liar. You believe it or not, it's in front of you. And this is their Islamic dictionary. Actually, let me pause for you the link so they will not say, you know what, oh, this guy is lying. It doesn't say that, CP. Here we go. Let me shorten the link. Hmm. All right. 
right you can use Google translation the same as I did I click here it says you have to pay money to shorten the link what the heck forget let us get someone else the front link all right this one will do the job all right guys you can open the link in your side and you will see this is not a christian dictionary this is a pure arabic dictionary actually it has all the dictionary in one dictionary read it do we have any muslim sheikh he dare to call us do we have anyone let us call him again if Tahia Simpson, maybe Simpson will answer. Hmm. He's not online, brother. Anyway, thank you for the brother who sent me the link. I really appreciate you, Mehdi. Uh, no no i don't i don't contact email there's no need for email just skype is enough and here we go i mean all the noise we made there don't tell me he did not hear that i was there <laughs> that would be funny isn't it <laughs> yeah all right Let us see. Oh, this is a guy he's saying he is a Muslim. Let us see. As long as we did not get a big fish, maybe we can get a smaller fish. All of them they are the same size fish, actually. <clears throat> oh, this guy is online. This Muslim. Maybe we got somebody. Let us hope. Invite your friends. If you are a Muslim, you know a sheikh, and he claimed that he can answer and refute. Please, we are here. We are here. And your God cannot stand with you. The avalanche. All the the drama you make about you want to debate this guy and this is why i don't like to debate middle eastern by the way i mean they are i don't want to be insulting to the middle eastern you know i am middle eastern too right but they do too much noise fart drum boom 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 the second the israeli army come to them they are in the hole those are the arab in the middle east the israeli army leave Hamas with 10,000 fighters with their rifles outside in the air. The Israeli going inside Gaza. Nobody. Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody know. Nobody. Nobody. No. Where is the jihad? Where is the fighter? Where is the takbir? Where is Allahu Akbar? Where if Allah he give you victory you will never lose. The Israeli come in, and not only that, the Israeli they come and they have like a bunch of girls with them. Did you see the Israeli army? They go with the commandos, they have like, maybe they are like 40, 50, and there's maybe 10 of them, they are ladies. And they have makeup. <laughs> and what Hamas they do? And this guy himself is a refugee in Turkey, as they told me. So he ran away from the Christian and the Shia in Syria, like a potato. They kick them out. If you are brave, you will not run. Yeah, take a beer. Do we have any Muhammadan? Who is a Muhammadan? He have a great knowledge in his religion, would like to join us. I don't know why people even sending me pictures of food. I don't open them. 
I can see like there is some food. Uh, you know, I mean, there is somebody trying to tell me that he, they can cook good. Let me block you. Don't do that. I cook here, Muhammad, nothing else. This is the only recipe I have for you. Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? There is any Muslim he think he have knowledge in Islam he can call us. Do you know any Sheikh you know him? You can give us his Skype we will call him. Do you know anybody? And you know those who they ask for topic you need to know one thing. It doesn't matter really if it's a Christian or a Muslim. You know I know the Christian maybe he might ask for it because people they go to the topic but if you ask me I think the real debate is not to choose a topic. Why? Because here you know who is the one who have knowledge and who is the one who don't. What I mean, if I need to prepare, if you give me now, you know, you say, okay, today we will talk about, uh, let us say, the Trinity. I will go and I will uh, search in Google. And I will put like 50 verses and 50 in interpretation in the front of me in the screen and start reading them for you. But a person of knowledge, his answer is always ready. He do not need to prepare. He do not need a month in advance. Choose the topic. What is the presentation? How much time I have? And then I go and make a slideshow. You know, this is a show time. Real debate is, don't tell me. Have you ever heard of somebody, they tell you the questions before you go to the exam? This is what the prepared debate is. Tell me the questions. Tell me the question before I go to the test. Just surprise me. And the same as you surprise me, you should be allowing me to surprise you. Very simple. But I never heard of somebody when I go to take an exam, you know, he asked for the questions first. Right? That's what they do. And the drama, and this guy run away. Everybody run away from you. I can tell. Maybe because your socks smell, smell, I don't know. We do not, we don't want them to agree with the, with, with, with that they are defeat. You know, Muslim, they never, they never, never agree. Have you ever heard of a Muslim? He agree he was defeated. You know, those people, you know, uh, I mean, they lose every, every day. And then they claim, like, here we go. The, the 2000 Marine occupying Afghanistan for the last 20 years. 2,000 Marine only. Taliban is more than 160,000 fighters. The American, they decide four years ago, says, okay, five years ago, we are going to leave Afghanistan in such a date, in such a day. Even they give the date and the day. And the Muslim claim victory. Allahu Akbar, we, like, you idiot. They, they told you five years ago, we are done. We destroyed you. They claim victory. <laughs> Oh boy, my friend, don't tell me call this guy and call this guy. Just give me the Skype of that guy. You are asking me to call. If he is someone you think he is uh, good in answering, I will call him. No need to give me this drama. Call this guy. What I will do? How, how I call him? Give me the Skype. He will go. My Skype is in the front of you. Either you tell them to call me. Maybe it's better to ask them to call me. And if they are, if they think you know they are big. And they will not call me because we are nobody, you know. I'm very humble. Okay, I'm nobody. Let me call you. And then after I call you, you will become nobody. Who they are? <clears throat> 
CP exists before Allah exists? No, my friend, this is a wrong sentence because how I can be exist before Allah existence if Allah is not exist? So logically, that is a, not a right argument. You cannot exist before something is not even exist. Even can the Muslim prove to us that Allah exists? They don't even know who's Allah. They don't even know what Allah means. How many times we went live and we asked the Muslim a very simple question, who is Allah? If I go right now and search in Google, who is Allah? You will find tons of articles and each one of them give you a different answer. Because they don't know, they are just guessing. They are trying to find out how to answer us. He is God, he is the creator, he is the one who made you. Like I'm, my friend, I'm not asking you what he do for a living. I did not ask you what he did. I'm saying, who is Allah? Can you tell me who is Allah? They don't know. All what they knew that his name is Allah. Masallah. Anything else? No answer. Who is Allah? They don't know. Let me type right now. We're going to Prophet Google, peace upon him. Who is Allah? I will do the question in front of you. Who is Allah? Understanding God in Islam conversion. I don't know what this is. Let's see a, 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 a Muslim website. I don't want to read, uh, you know, this guy and that guy. Yeah. Who is Allah? The fact about the Muslim religion. Allah, the one God. Allah mean the one God? What the heck? So if Allah mean the one God, why you Muslim you say Allah? He said He's only one. I mean, if this if the name mean He is one, why Allah He says He is only one and one off? <laughs> they don't know. Each one of them he is guessing. What Allah mean? They don't know. Who is Allah mean? They don't know. Look, this website here, Islam Religion, February 2006, the Arabic word Allah presents no such uh, difficulty for uh, um, ambiguity since it's only used for Almighty God alone. This is the dictionary. This is the def definition now. Thank you. I was wondering it's used for who? I thought it used for Suzuki cars. But now we knew. They didn't know, my friend. They do not know what Allah is. They do not know who is Allah. Allah has 99 names. Most of them, they are funny. Horrible names. Have you ever heard of a God? His name is a believer. A believer in what? The arrogant? I mean, a God and his arrogant? Mutakabbir. Allah al Mutakabbir. <laughs> arrogant Allah. Do we have any Muhammadan? Guys, how is the broadcast is going? Because I changed the setting of my uh, software, the one I used to broadcast. Is the image coming smooth and good? Is it good? I think it's doing better than before because before we used to have some uh, problem with the, uh, sometimes like we have a buffering. So I lower, I lower the broadcast uh, pixels. So we can have a, because, you know, we are not having videos like, you know, we're not watching movies. It's just text. And text always will look good. No problem. As long as it's not, uh, uh, not a very low resolution. Yeah. Yeah, I'm using OBS. Do you know what OBS? Do you know who is the first one who come with OBS? You will not believe it. Prophet of Allah Muhammad. When Allah, he gave him the chapter of Al-Fatiha, he said, oh, this is bullshit. 
but he used the word B because in Arabic we don't have P. You know, just to let you know, in Arabic we don't have P. So obvious. Have you ever heard of a prophet of God? He received his revelation while he is doing poo poo. I mean, cannot Allah wait until the guy he put his pants up? And the Muslim they try to fix it, they say, uh, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It doesn't say he was doing poo poo while you are lying. It says each time he get out. What? Go out? Where? What do you mean? Go out each time he go out? Look, look, look at translation. Whenever he went out in Arabic, baraza, baraza came in from tabaraza, baraz, mean, excuse me, shit. Hmm? Wherever he go out, he hear a voice saying to him, Oh, Muhammad. And what Muhammad he do? He spent between his legs and he start running. Have you ever heard of a prophet of God is running because he heard a voice and already he heard the angel hundreds of times already? Isn't it the angel came long before, squeezed him, and no mayonnaise is coming, and he squeezed him twice, twice, for, you know, you know, the prophet who been squeezed. What is, what is significant, significant? I don't know if I'm saying the word correctly. Excuse my English, you know, you know, as you know, I, as you know, like I'm from Japan. Kimo, huh? You know, this is not Japanese actually, this is Chinese. Hold on. Chong, huh? No, I don't know. I'm not watching too much Japanese movies lately. I'm watching Chinese. I like the Chinese movies. They remind me of Allah. I mean, everything is a flying. You see a girl, she have a broom and she is a flying and she did beat thing, guys. I went to Walmart and I searched for the broom. I could not find it. They say to you, to me, we have only the broom of uh, Andre Tate because now he's arrested. I grab the broom and I get a lot of candoms. Because, you know, Andre Tate is a Muslim and he is following the teaching and the manual of Allah. All right. Do we have any Muhammad that want to say anything? Today is a Chinese New Year. So what happened now? The Chinese, they don't, they, what they would do with the old year? Let me go to Amazon, search for the old year. I guess now the, drives, the, the price has dropped. As long as this is the new one. I mean, obviously, when the new one come, the old one will drop. Why? Well, as long as it's new, anyway, new okay, yeah. Yeah, this is what I do for ship shopping, you know? Yeah. I hear you are a racist now. Really? Why I am racist now? Guys, I said, uh, I bought a broom from Walmart, and the guy, he says, I hear that you are racist now. Oh, boy. This is what happens when you have some audience. They are so genius. They, they try to find something to frame you. What? What? Can you tell me what I said? It's racist? I said, I'm Japanese. Is that a problem for you? Okay, let me fix it. Sorry, I apologize. I'm black, blonde, African-American from Japan. Are we okay now? What an idiot. Oh, I'm a racist against the broom? Oh, okay. Well, no, it's not against broom, but I wanted to do the same as in the movie. Like, you see those guys, they fly. I, I, how they fly, man, those Chinese? I want to fly too. I mean, I don't know why even uh, we need an elevator. You, you see, if we learn how to do that, uh, I will move to Indonesia and I will cut coconut every second. Because all you need just to fly. You know, he's up. They jump from roof to roof. They go from building to building. I mean, they, I think they, 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 they learn from Muhammad. But Muhammad, he did use a flying uh, donkey with two wings. Do we have a Muhammad in here? Anyone? All right, let's see Is if it's Skype, nobody. Look like today we are dry and uh, we have nobody.
And now if you make a video, this guy, he will make a thousand condition about how to debate me, come here, go there, do this, do that. Just give me your, I have your Skype already. Don't give it to me. Let us call him again. You never know. Maybe he logged, maybe he logged in again. You never know. I sent him a message already. Let us see for how long he will ignore this message. Hmm. Okay. All right, all right. No problem. Yeah, my friend, no, I don't want you to call me. I want Muslims to call me. Customers come first. Do we have any Mohammedan? Well, if he got me blocked in Skype, that would be more embarrassing. Okay, hit him, David. Okay. But, you know, we showed everybody that those guys are just, you know, blah, blah. And look, I mean, okay, the guy, he said to you, okay, call me, etc. And they make a drama about it. They are running away. I mean, what, what a shame. They are not professional. They are not... Uh, uh, Muhammad, same for he is saying, who is uh, uh, Jesus? Do you want who is Jesus according to the Quran or according to the Bible? Because if I ask you who is Jesus according to the Quran, you will die laughing. According to the Quran, Jesus is the nephew of Moses. <laughs> and he is the grandson of Amran. <laughs> <laughs> this is what happened when you hire a professor like Andrew Tate who have no he have high school and then he opened Hustler University. I mean, have you ever heard of somebody he have zero degrees and he opened university? That is Muhammad Andrew Tate. Can you say I'm lying? Is it true that according to Quran? There's no Jesus, by the way, in the Quran. There is Isa. And this is additional problem because Isa, Muhammad, because he's so smart, he heard the Jews saying that Miriam, the sister of Aaron, she have a son out of marriage. You know, she is not married. The Bible says she never get married. So this is just, uh, you know, uh, stories in between people. So Muhammad, the idiot, he say, oh, okay. So Isa is the son of Miriam. And we do not know his father. <laughs> she was not married. <laughs> okay, so she, Maryam, the sister of Aaron, and imagine the same name exactly, by the way, it's Maryam. The Quran, Maryam, for uh, uh, the mother of Jesus, and Maryam is the sister of Aaron. Exactly the same name. So Maryam, she have a son. Nobody knows the father. She is the sister of Aaron, Muhammad the genius, he got it. That is Jesus. Who is the father? And then Muhammad, he made a story about it in the Quran. And then according to the Quran, Jesus was created by the Holy Spirit, not by Allah. Is that correct? Who want to beat me in that? Is it true that the Quran is saying that Jesus was created by the Holy Spirit? Aka, the Spirit of Allah? Any Muhammadan? Hmm. Who is a Muslim? He can stand for his question. You see, see the Muslims. We don't block them. We don't, you know, as long as you are not being stupid and posting filthy language. Uh, you know, here we go. You put your question, we answer you. Actually, every day, 
we go live, we make a screenshot of the Muslim. We don't, you know, mute you and you cannot talk and you cannot, etc. Here we go. We put your question in the screen. What's your answer? What happened to Jesus in the Quran? Why the God of Islam do not know who is even Jesus? I mean, this is very simple information. Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus. So we are not asking about something is mysterious for Muhammad. Any Muhammadan would like to call us? Allah mean gods, according to us? Well, I challenge you to say, to prove it, that Allah mean gods. Is that fair, guys? What do you think, people? Why you don't call me? And I, I will not ask you any question, I promise you. You call me. You tell me what Allah mean and why it's mean God, according to you. You hang up. Is that fair, guys? If you are afraid I'm going to ask you questions, I will not, I promise you. Just call me. Explain to me what you what you said and the proof that Allah mean God, according to us. And hang up. Can you do that? Who want to do it? Either you do not know who is your God and you are afraid that if you call me, it's going to be an embarrassment or you are sure and you can prove it and then you will be winning anyway. Don't you want to make a hundred thousand people hear your answer? We are giving you the opportunity. The Muslim, they will not give us an opportunity like this. I just made a promise. I will not even ask you a question. Just call me. Tell me why you th why you are saying Allah mean God. Hang up, and that's all. Okay, you are afraid to call me. No problem. Can you tell me in the chat, in the text, and I will put it in the screen, where you get the meaning that Allah as a word mean God for Muslims. Who is a Muslim want to give help to this Muslim gentleman? Mr. Kier asking, was Muhammad circumcised? No, never. And this is additional proof that Muhammad is not what he claimed to be. You know, he ordered his followers to be to follow the steps of the Jews. And then what he do? He himself he did not do circumcision. Muhammad himself, he did not even get the circumcision. In the same time, Muhammad, he told them that uh, uh, Abraham, uh, I like that, by the way, I like Abraham. I, I will tell you why. Not because he is a prophet. No, no, no. You know, in the Middle East, obviously size does matter. So look like Abraham's size was so big, man. Have you ever heard of somebody doing circumcision to himself by a sledgehammer? Ads? I mean, how big is the private part? Like, aren't you afraid to lift your hand up and you miss like a few inches? Obviously, Abraham private part was like a nose of an elephant. I mean who care if he miss a few inches? So the guy he put his uh, what? H how how he did that? How he did that? W where Muhammad he got this information from? And why he did not do that to himself? Maybe Muhammad he have his more ads are you sure? Huh? Brother. It is very normal, brother and sisters in the Middle East, that people, when they do circumcision, they use ads. 
Broven said it perfectly, and this is the you know the okay. So thank you. So the, those people at that time they have ads, but they don't have a scissor. They don't have knives. Ads. Ouch. I mean, by the way, I think uh, Abraham, he was so good in aiming. Otherwise, just a little mistake, he can be single forever. For sure this is a true story. Are you kidding me? What the heck? Show respect, man. Or I will hit you with that. <laughs> Over your willy. <laughs> uh, Muhammad is a true prophet. He knew. Okay, Muslims, how Muhammad knew what Abraham, how he did circumcise himself? Where, where did he get this one from? Anyone can tell me? Is Muhammad making things up? Or this is like the angel came to him and he said, Do you know how Prophet Abraham, he cut his penis? Then don't tell me, please. Hmm. Uh, a Muslim saying, uh, uh, CP bus, are you still hiding like a rat? I don't know. I'm really hiding. I have 100,000 subscribers and I have four books about Islam and my videos watched by millions around the world translated to all languages in the world almost and I'm hiding, brother. But don't worry. I got your ads. <laughs> are you hiding? Well, your God, Allah is always hiding. Oh, I'm hiding. Here we go. I'm here. Do you want to come and visit me? Are you brave enough? Potato. You need hiding? Okay, the one is not hiding. What do you do to them? Here we go. Everybody is laughing at your prophet. What, what, what do you do? So why I will hide? Everybody is making videos, showing their face. I don't like, you know, I hear. Sit with my pajama. My beard is miserable. And I have some... What is that on oh, the Quran? Okay, my nose. Okay, and uh, I don't care. This is my the way I like it, my friend. I fear nobody. The one who fear, he will never mention one word about your faithy prophet. Uh, do we have any Abdul? Aku Wahid in Nigeria. Okay, give me where is his Skype? He text me his Skype. I will call him. I don't see anyone in my Skype texting me. <laughs> my friend, just give me the Skype. Don't tell me the admin don't post. You can post his Skype. You can contact me in my Skype. You can contact me in my Skype. Here we go. You do not need any admin to post for him anything. This is my Skype. Here we go. All what you need to do, copy this, search it in Skype. You go to search, find user, search it. Very simple. No need for a drama. We are not hiding our Skype. We are posting it everywhere. I just posted in a in a big Islamic channel, and they what they do? They block my Skype. So just, here we go, my Skype is there. If you really mean it, if you are serious, look me up in Skype and give me a text, I will call you. Okay, okay, you guys double want to talk about the Trinity. So you see, they decide the, the, they decide the topic before he called. Okay, 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 I will call you and call you about the Trinity. He's afraid to talk about anything else. No problem, you can talk about Trinity, but I can talk about anything too. Call, call, let us have fun. Hmm. Any Muslim, you ask him an embarrassing question, he jump. Okay, how God can be three? You are separately God, okay? <laughs> you worship three gods. I'm waiting. Until now, I don't see any text from anybody.
Yeah, my friend, the Muslims are really worried about seeing my face. The Muslims, they are afraid of what I say. All this drama is about what? It's about what he say. He can't answer it. Why the Muslims, they call everybody in Skype, and but they don't call me. Those who claim they have knowledge. Guys, I have a black cat in my yard. Very black. You know what Prophet Muhammad said about black animals? He said, Waqtulu kulla aswadin bahim. Kill every pure black animal. Do you see how Muhammad is not superstition racist with the color? Brother? I mean, this cat is really black. Really, really, really black. Let us see. Okay. Somebody is texting me. Let us see. The guy we called him before, but he did not answer. Hello? Yeah, this this is this is Fakira. <laughs> the most time they send me their females. <laughs> Fakira, son of Muta. Coward. Hey Muslim, do you know that this guy from Nigeria he said the F word to his prophet? Do you know that he called the Arab Kufar stupid? Which means your prophet is a stupid and all the sahaba. Do you know he said I don't care if the Quran in Arabic? And nobody need the Quran to be in Arabic. He can understand without knowing Arabic. Do you know that he gave me an example about how Muhammad disobeyed Allah? And he said to me, I'm just quoting. The video is there. I will example, give you an example. So there's an older brother and a younger brother. And this is how Allah. Allah is the older brother. Muhammad is the younger brother. So Allah, he said to Muhammad, you son of MF. <laughs> Actually, he is not from Nigeria. He's from uh, where? I forgot. Talk about Trinity. Double, don't give me a drama. Call me and talk about Trinity. Did I say no? Guys, did I say no? Why Muslim they make a drama? Why they love a drama? Christian Prince, talk about Trinity. Are you scared? Okay, call me and talk about Trinity. What the heck with those people? What are we doing now? Either we get somebody, his his mouth is like it's like a rag coming from the bathroom, or Muslim, they claim they want to talk about something and they don't call, call me. He would go, I said, okay, call me and talk about Trinity. Yeah, I think so. He's from Ghana, maybe Ghana, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Do we have any Mohammedan? Anyone? You know, the great signs of defeating Islam is that Muslims now, they are running away from the Hadith. This is a clear sign that they don't even accept their prophet statement. You know, if, if I have a prophet and he is the one I receive the holy book, so-called holy book, from him, uh, so why I will not accept what he say anyone hmm? no answer as usual <clears throat> Let us see if we have any caller. Hmm. Uh, one of you, he said to me, can you talk about Exodus 21 and Matthew 7? But what is the question? What do you want to talk about? Explain what?
Dexter, aren't you the Muslim female who called me before? Dexter, aren't you the Muslim female who called me before? What is the penalty of somebody beat his slave in Islam or kill his slave? As you see, in the Old Testament, a person who do that, he should be punished. And actually, the Bible, the Old Testament says, if you break even his teeth, one of his tooth, he is free. So, what is the punishment of killing a slave in Islam? Oh, Dexter, you are not? Sorry, I got you wrong then. Do we have any Muhammadan? Let me show you what the Quran says about killing a slave. You want to see? You will not believe it. How stupid what so-called justice in Islam. This is Quran now. They cannot say Quran is weak and you know this garbage they come to us. Chapter 2, verse number 178. In the case of murder, this is the case of murder, not uh, like you just even beat somebody and he died. No, no. This is a murder, which means you did, do, did it in purpose to kill. Oh, who you believe, retaliation is prescribed for you in the matter of a mur murder. See it? Murder. All right. The free man for the free man. The slave for the slave. The female for the female. Genius. So now if a white man get killed, a white man will be killed. If a white man kill the slave, we kill his slave. Do you see it? If I kill your female, you kill my female. So the stupid Muhammad, this is how he understood the law of Moses, eye for an eye. <laughs> you kill my you kill my slave, I kill your slave. You kill my wife, I kill you. <laughs> like I don't like I don't kill you. No, no, I kill your wife. I mean, where is justice? So now we have two victims. And not on the top of that, there is the racism. So if I kill a slave, a slave will be killed in return. That is justice. Who made this justice? The Almighty God. And you know, they might say to you, it doesn't say that, see me. You know, let us go and see the interpretation. So do we? Interpretation. Chapter 2, verse number 178. Interpretation. Read and laugh. Because they will say to you, CB is misquoting the Quran, okay? It doesn't mean that, okay? He's a liar. It doesn't say, like, if a free man kill a slave man, he will not be killed, but a slave will be killed. Read it. This is Tafsir al-Jalalain. Al-Jalalain. Jalalain am Jalalain. Which have a different name. Look carefully. If a free man killed for a free man, not for a slave. Do you see it? Not for a slave. This is not me saying that. This is your Islamic interpretation. Slave for the slave. And if a free man killed a slave, the free man, the white man, will not be killed for killing a black slave. Read it. And I find it very embarrassing that anyone he call himself a black, he accepts such a false religion, putting him down. Christian hero, I can give you seven premises. Hey, Tarek, Tarek, you are a scholar in the Bible? 
Why you aren't scholar in the Quran, brother? <laughs> go, go, change your name. I mean, at least you, you use a name fit for a man. Man, you are just a kid, scholar in the Bible. You don't even know how to read one letter in the Bible. As an example, your prophet they ask him about the Torah, and according to the Muslims, your prophet do not even know how to read his book. He do not know how to read, how to write even Arabic. So Muhammad, he said to them, bring me the Torah. Okay, they brought him the Torah. Muhammad, he was sitting in a cushion. For sure, his ass is soft. You know, you have to give him a cushion. You want Muhammad to sit on the floor? <laughs> You're right. So they gave him the, you know, the, the Torah. He took the cushion from underneath of him. And he played the Torah. He placed the Torah in the top of the cushion. That is a cushiony Torah. And now he said, I believe in thee and the one who sent thee. And those Abdul, they go every corner, say the Torah is corrupt, the gospel is corrupt, the Injil is corrupt. Read with me. So they placed a cushion for the messenger of Allah who sat on it. Look at the details. I mean, because he might do many things with it. I mean, cushion, he might sleep. Just think about it. See how, see how, you know, the details is so good. I like it when the Muslims describe every detail. Like the Prophet now is a squeeze in it. And it's coming, but there's no smell. So, the details here, same. They placed the cushion for the messenger of Allah. He sat on it and he said, bring it, bring it, bring the Torah. And the Torah was brought. Then he would draw, then he would draw commercial break. If you want to know the movie about how the Muslim they would draw from Jerusalem after gathering all Muslims from around the world to fight Israel, please don't forget to watch the movie. It's called How We Draw in the Faster of the Speed of Light. Takbir, end of the commercial. Bring the Torah. Bring the Torah. Bring the Torah. Hey, prophet, prophet. Oh, okay, uh, okay. I could continue. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. But where will we stop? Bring the Torah. Okay. It was then brought. He then withdrew the cushion from beneath of him, and the placed the Torah on it, saying, "I believe." I believe, I believe I can fly. Oh, this is not the high, sorry. I believed in thee and in him who sent and revealed thee. This is religion? The guy don't even know how to read one letter in the book. Not a single letter. The Quran says that the Jews, they believe that Uzair is a son of Allah, which means it should be in their books. And what Muhammad he do? Bring the Torah. Bring it, or I will ring it. So where is the Muhammadan who wanna say to me, can you talk about this, you know? Huh? This is a uh, Fakira again trying to call me. I mean, Fakira, that's it. She's a bug. What you can say, what you can do when Fakira is in the corner. <laughs> Hello? Hello?
يا هلا وقتك يا راهو فكيرة تشينج هير فويس فكيرة شي تشينج هير فويس برادر دو وي هاف اني بريف مسلم هو هي ثينك هي كان ميك ات وذاوت بريكين ات هي ويل نوت بريك ات I know, I heard, I know this is true. That when Muhammad, a Muslim, he tried to explain this. He said, oh yeah, Prophet, he Allah, he swear on the Torah, but he was swearing only on what is right and inside it. Look, what the heck? What? He was swearing in only what is correct in it. Are you sure? Yeah, for four. هل هناك من فرفور من الفرافير يطل علينا بقصة السنافير هل من منادي حول Do we have any محمدا How many of you here speak Arabic Give me, give me one if you speak Arabic How many speak Arabic? Hmm. <clears throat> Any Muhammadan? Black, you speak Arabic? Aida, the truth? Uh, around the world? Alfred? Phil, how, Hogo, Berry. Oh, but you have too many people speaking Arabic. Jerusalem, that's good. That's good. So now you saw what I, you know what I'm saying, don't you? Let me make a, a Quran now. I mean, the Muslim they say, by the way, nobody can make Quran like the Quran. So I remember once I was, uh, you know, uh, it's, it was not like a seminar, but. We are preparing for a seminar, and then a guy he came, and uh, those church they have like an ad in the front of the church in the hall. And he didn't know that I'm Christian Prince yet, you know. So he saw the ad, and uh, so he came to the minister of the church, which I was with him. To, he was just showing me uh, what we will do next day, you know, like where is the room, where is the place we will. It's a big room, so he came. And uh, he said, uh, so what this is, topic is about? So the minister of the church, he said to him, it's about Islam and why Islam is not uh, true. So the guy, he said, hmm, how Islam is not a true? And yet the Quran, nobody can make like it. I said, uh, do you think true God, he is going to quote an end? And add it in the Quran. He said, What? He said, Do you think a true God he will take what the ant said and will make it a verse in the Quran? Which means the ant she made that verse. He said, No way. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't know what are you talking about? You know? So this guy, you know, he's he insists that this is not a throw. So I said, Okay, do you have a Quran with you? He said, No. I said, Okay, that's open in the phone. In your phone, in your phone. Can you, do you have your phone with you? He said, yeah, I have my phone. Do you have internet? He have internet. You know? I said, okay, let us open together and read chapter 27 and you can read from verse number 18. And he start reading. <laughs> and you know, and he turned his head to the other side, you know? Like he was with us, and now he he start reading and he walk away. I said, "Where are you going? We, we come here. Well, we do not finish, you know." He said, "No, no, I, I, you know, I, I need to go." I said, "Oh, wait, wait. We just try to finish." Man. So, how God is quoting an ant and putting what the ant said in the Quran, and this is what the ant said, not Allah. So I thought nobody can make Quran, and now we found Mrs. Ant, peace be upon her, can make Quran. You should see his face. Oh, Leo. 
Oh, look at this. Nobody can make Quran. All what we see in front of us is the conversation between Solomon and Mrs. Ant, who was so horny when she saw his legs. He's sexy and you know it. So he smiled. So when they arrived at the valley, one of the ants, she said, until now Allah is talking. This is Quran made by Allah. The rest is made by Mrs. Ant. Be my witness. Oh, ye ants, get into your habitations, lest Solomon and his host crush you and their foot without knowing it. Like, what the heck? The ant is making Quran? And now Allah is copying what the ant is saying. So this guy, he left. Second day, I have my seminar. He came. He was there, you know. And then after I finished, he said, I did a check. What you said to me, it was not a true. It was not the ant talking. I said, okay, let us read together again. You know, even though there's many people want to shake hands with me because this is the end of the seminar. There's too many people. So I took him in the side and I said, does it say, in your, because he's reading in his language. I, I said, I don't know what it says there, but in English. Can we open it in English? He said, sure, it's the same. I said, okay. Does it say, the ant said, he said, yeah. He said, does it say that in your translation? He said, no. <laughs> I said, well, this is in Arabic. It says, قالت نملة. قالت is the word mean, she said. She's a female, by the way. The, by the way, the Muslim, they have a miracle about it. It's a scientific miracle. According to scientific, the one who do warm, alarm the ants, she is a female guard. But in Arabic, we don't have a male word for namla, for an uh, individual ant. This is what we say, namla. This this is how this is how trashy they they claim. I mean, in Arabic language, we don't have a word except a female for those insect. As an example, fly we call zubaba, which means female, but we don't look at their balls. There's no word male fly. All of them we call them zubaba. But anyway, Muslims, you know what you can do. You know, Muslims, they are smart. So here we go. The Quran is made by an ant, and the conversation between the ant is not the conversation between Allah and Solomon. This is Allah. No, this is Solomon and Mrs. Ant talking. And Allah, he copied what the ant she said. He put it in his book. This is a copyright violation. If I know this ant, I'm going to take Allah to the court. He claimed that nobody can make a book like his when the whole thing is nothing except the ant talking and so the man said, and look at this. Now Allah, he made an amazing miracle. Look, he said the word, so he smiled. Amused at her speech, but you know, ants are deaf. Yeah. And he said, Oh my Lord, no order that may be grateful for the favor. What the heck? I mean, this guy is so happy he can understand the language of the ant. But if we go, there's one verse up there, you will see that Allah taught him the language of the birds. So look what happened to you when you study in Afghanistan. They teach you German, you speak gibberish. I mean, you taught the guy the language of the birds, and then a few meters after, he heard the speech of the ant. That's so good. It, what the heck? Okay, how, 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 how would this happen? So we taught him the language of the birds. He language he understand the language of the ants. You know what? I think this ant she was singing. I believe I can fly. I believe I can say goodbye. I don't know songs really. I don't. I don't remember even two words of it. What the heck is that, man? The talking end. All of us we knew. You can go right now and search. There's a book. It's called The Legions of the Jews, which means the fiction stories for kids. Legions of the Jews. This book is more than a hundred years old, so it's for free legally, I think. But you can check to be sure it's legal to have it. So you can read it. And you will see the story is in the Legion of the Jews before Muhammad. And Muhammad, he copy whatever they say to their kids and he make a Quran.
Hisham William. Text me in Skype, my friend. Uh, no, no, you you are the one who texts me. This is I know I know the voice of Ultimate Fort. Give me a break. Yeah, just give me a break. And if you are not him, you are changing his voice, which not which is not a good sign. I don't want to speak to kids. Do we have any real Muhammad and would like to call us? And remember, nobody can make Quran save Allah. Hmm. And you know, ask yourself, what is important about this? I mean, Muhammad, he speak about the crucifixion of Jesus in one line. It made appear to them how, what happened, nothing. No details. Here we have too much details. Solomon walking down the street. La 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 la. La 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 la. You have all the time. Who care for this? What is it? Is that a book for kids? What the heck is this? What the benefit of such a story, which is a stupid story? And then Muhammad, he he closed the story. You know, like at the end of the movie when somebody died, what happened? You know, any any one of you before die? No, none of you. Okay. Yeah, I think I I died before. Yes. And because I was a very bad person, Allah He made me Christian prince as a penalty, brother. And then you will find that uh, <clears throat> uh, Solomon. Uh, let us go to the Quran. This is the end of the. This is the end of the story, brother. I mean, what you can do. At the end, you die, right? The hero will die. He will not stay. This is what happened to me. So, and then uh, Suleiman, brother, uh, he died, brother, but nobody noticed that he is dead, brother. Uh, why? Because he was leaning on a stick for a year. How do you tell me? Prophet Solomon. He died. I know. Very sad news. But guess what? He was so smart. He died standing. Standing. Alone. If you like to watch any, any comedian program, stand up comedy, please don't forget to go to stand up, sit down, get out of here. Comedy program. It's on Fox News, aka CNN. Two stations of one owner. Solomon. Died. That's it. We will we, we not finish the story. Why the music stop? I think Allah he stop it. Allah hate music. But nothing, nothing showed his death to them, save the creeping creatures. The creeping creatures. The creeping creatures. If your mother-in-law, she is creeping over your bedroom or your table, eating your food or refrigerator, go and call us immediately. We have a solution for your mother-in-law and we will let her know that she cannot do creep anywhere around the house. Call us immediately. The creeping department. We have a creeping news for you about the creeping creatures. Call us now, 1-800-CREEBY. There's no music. Oh, there's no music. All this, this, uh, all this drama and there's no music. What the heck? 
I thought the music is working all this time. It was no music. And when he decreed, when we decreed death for him, nothing. I don't know. Hold on. I think I need a action. I'm just speaking to the director. What makeup time? What makeup? I mean, what, are you stupid or what? There's no camera. And why a man would have a makeup? Oh, all artists they do that? Oh, okay. So like I am an art, I'm an artist now. I'm just reading the Quran. Oh, this is the art of uh, Quran. Oh, okay. What about you with the makeup on Allah? Because this is the story of Allah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. And by the way, the Prophet he used to put eyeliner three times a day. Beautiful, pretty, you know. Okay, okay. Nothing showed his death to them, save a creeping creature of the earth which gone Stop? What? Why? I, I said the word wrong? Okay. Gand? Gnaud? Oh, hold on. Gan with. Gan with. Is that correct? Oh, okay. <laughs> I know that. I mean, this is a. I mean, this is very simple to read, okay? Gan with, like this is coming from within, like, you know, like, we, like you know, the, you know, the wind, within, like, you know, within, 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 yeah, okay, okay, I got it, I got it, okay. Uh, start again, please. Commercial break, all right. After commercial break, all right. If you are preparing for your wedding and you like to have some nice wedding, which is called divorce. Please call us our divorce department and we will divorce you immediately. Even if your wife, she is the same as a glue. Don't worry, glue, even if it's crazy, we have solution for it. Thank you. Gnaw it away, his staff. They are eating his staff. And when when he failed, the jinn saw clearly. How, if they had known the unseen, they would not have continued working for him. Brother, this is a very touching story. This is very touching story. I mean, who can tell such a story unless he is the true God? So the guy, he was standing, if you don't believe me, about a year, go to Ibn Kathir. One year standing, holding a stick, and nobody noticed that he is dead. True story. Muhammad, don't lie. I'm telling you. If you think Muhammad is a fabricator and he's a liar and he is fairy tale story liar, you are a coward and you are uh, deserve to do jihad against you. This is a story. First of all, is very scientific, okay, and it's very normal that a human being when he die, he stay for a year and nobody notice that he's dead, uh, just because he's holding a stick. Try it, try it. Okay, I went to the museum. It's called. Uh, let me remember of the name of the king. It's called the uh, Wax. This is the name of the king. So they have a Wax Museum for the King Wax. And he was standing for like many years, not only one year. And one of them actually, his name is uh, 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 Elvester. Elvester Salon. Elvester. He sang, you know, the singer. Elvester, you know, Sylvester. I don't know. It's something like that. You know, it's a very well known king from Nevada. You know, Las Vegas. He used to go, he used to live in the casino. This is one of the palace, and later they make a casino. This is a true story. So he died and he was holding a stick. And I saw him in the in the museum, you know, in the museum, and he was holding a stick for many years. I mean, the guy he died 20, 30 years ago. And until now he's standing up. They have to keep the air condition on, but it's okay. Anyway, so here it says actually, uh, where, 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 where I am now. Why I'm going here? Oh boy, I, I chose the wrong verse, but I, what, what I did, man. You see, guys, you make me confused now. Yeah, chapter 34, not 36. I went to 36 by mistake. Okay. 
this, this happened to you when you study the language of the birds and then you start speaking the language of the ants. <laughs> yeah, right. And then you, you don't even know the verses you are choosing. Yeah, you are choosing the wrong verses. Okay, we have a Muslim. He is trying to call me. Let us see this Muslim. Hold on. <clears throat> Elvis, yeah, yeah, his name is Elvis. Is that, uh, Elvis? I just remember the name. Hold on, I was inspired. Hello, is hello, hello, hello. Why are you are changing your voice? You are. I hear you. Why are you are changing your voice? I'm not changing my voice. You are, speak, you are speaking from your nose. What? Okay, now we are. Here we go. This is a laugh. This is the normal laugh. Speak to me. Go ahead. Why you believe the Bible is the word of God when it has false science, contradictory, and it all, it also tells you to kill people who believe in other gods? You are a Muslim. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, okay. Tell me. What do, so, what do you think about I'm Muhammad? Asking a simple question. No problem. I'm asking you. What do you think about Muhammad? It doesn't matter. I'm no, it matter for me because you see here I examine people who call me to be sure they are being honest. If you cannot, if you cannot be word. honest, there is no point of talking to someone is a liar. So what okay, do you think I, about Muhammad? I will, tell you, I will answer our question. I think uh, in all religions you can find a bunch of reasons to why they are false. No, I'm asking you what do you think about Muhammad? It doesn't matter what I think. No, it, 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 it matters. It matters for me. 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 My friend, it matters it matter for me. It matters. Can you tell me what you think about Muhammad? It doesn't matter what I think about anybody. So you are a liar. You are a Muslim. And you don't want to say, if you are saying that you are not a Muslim, no, then, then, then you should say Muhammad is a liar. He is a fraud. And that's it. So uh, now we'll continue. Say the same thing about your Jesus. Okay, no problem. You can say the same. No problem. Did I stop you? I'm asking you, what do you think? What do you, why you refuse as long you don't believe in Islam and Muhammad, that means Muhammad is a false prophet. So are you are you willing to say Muhammad is a fraud? To answer it. Are you willing to say that Muhammad is a fraud? It doesn't matter what I'm saying. So you are a Muslim? No. So then say, if you are not a Muslim, that's mean you don't accept him as a prophet. Okay. If I'm not a Muslim, so, so if I'm not a Muslim, I have to talk badly about Muhammad and everybody else. Is that what you're telling you, you're me? You're saying that my book have a, have a stupid things and etc. Blah 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 blah. So why you don't say the same about Muhammad if you don't believe in, in either? You just I said you just said all the religion all the religion have those things right. So say Islam have the religion the same. Say the book the the book of Muhammad and Muhammad have the same problems as the Bible and both are false. Go ahead. Yeah, both are false. Both of them have the same problem. Both, both, both what? Them, both what? Both, both of them has incorrect science. Both, both what? Of them both what? Country. Both of them tells you to do both bad them what? Stuff. Both what? Both what? Both what? Both what? Both are false. What both? Both what? Name the name. Name the things. Are you saying the Quran is false? Christianity, you can find a bunch of. Are you saying both. the Quran is false? Oh, brother, I'm asking you a question. Do you yeah. fake? I don't speak to people who they are fake. But then first you are speaking from your nose. You are holding your nose, changing your voice. When you laugh, that was your normal. When you hold your nose, I can tell you are not speaking from your mouth. You are just an idiot and you are a coward. And if you are a person who believe both, you see, he will not say both what? They, they, are, they are very evil. So he will say in his head like both, you know, the Torah and the gospel, both. But he will not say both Islam and Christianity. Coward, you don't got play with Christian prince. You cannot. I am the one who got the donkey from his tail, and he is in front of me. Hold on, let's let's continue. So when he died, brother, it says here this is Ibn Kathir. Allah tell us how Suleiman, peace be upon him, died, and how Allah concealed his death from the zini, were subjugated to him to do hard labor. Oh boy. I hope they will not do that to Andorotate. Peace be upon him. He remained leaning on his stick, which was his staff. Ibn Abbas said, May Allah pleased with him, and Mujahid and Hassan and others said, He stayed like this for a long time, nearly a year. Brother, 
brother. A long time, nearly a year, when a creature of the earth, which was a kind of worm, termite, ate through the stick and become weak, and he fell in the ground. I mean, who can beat that? Can you? Who can beat such a story made by Allah? How many people they will accept Islam now after they hear this story? Hmm. You are such a coward. I have been waiting. Hold on, hold on. What this guy is saying? I was writing this in the comment all day and you keep avoiding a hey, dark lord why you want to avoid and why you are writing what about you call me and what you are writing i don't see what you are writing i don't see even here we go i'm going to go back in the comment to see what is your writing here we go what is the guy i will go from here this is dark what is dark here you go dark you just made a comment i will go back where is your comment i don't see it i don't see even your name so you are, here we go. Uh, coward cannot answer a simple question. What is the question? Okay. So are you going to keep saying, not answering the question, but you don't give me the question? That is deep. You know, by the way, I can answer any question without asking the question. I mean, it's very normal. We are Arab. Nothing is impossible for us. What is your question? You see, I'm going back to see what is your stupid question. Look, I, I went uh, like an hour ago and still I don't see your text asking me a question. I saw only two texts from you. So who is the dummy? You need to think a thing. You didn't ask me my question and you're not answering my question. You just called me? Ah, Fakira. Okay. Yeah. You know, Fakira, you can play with me. A brave person if he is not a believer, you know, we know all those lies, Muslims, they do. Uh, I don't believe in Christianity, near, you know, and other religion, he would not even dare to say. And the second you ask them, okay, what about you say, as long as Christianity is false, that means Islam is false. Do you agree? He will not say it. Ask yourself why, because simply it's a fakira and she is lying. And why I want to waste my time with somebody who don't even dare what he believe to say. Or say what he believe. Honesty is number one reason to talk to somebody. If he's a liar, you are speaking just a joker, a kid. And you are a coward to the point you are changing your voice. Okay, dark. I have, I have a. a if you are not a fakira, I will assume you are not a fakira. I can add you to Skype. And I will call you. You type in the chat that Islam is a false religion. You type in the chat that Islam is a false religion. And when you call me, I will make you read what you just typed. Is that fair, guys? That's all. And then you can tell me what do you think. Anything. Let us see if you are truthful. You said both both are false we heard you just say both islam and christianity just say it both islam and christianity are false and if you want you can swear by allah that you mean it what do you think do you want to do it potato or what I ask you. Okay, say Muhammad is false and we continue. That's all. I did not stop you. I did not, you know, we always hear, this is what we do. We got them busted. Uh, 
Yeah, you see, you said both are false, but you did not refuse. So why you refuse to say Muhammad is false? Why you refuse to say it? Huh? What is the problem? Why you insist you will not say it? I asked you, just say both, Islam and Christianity. I said, both what? You refuse to say. You said, doesn't matter. Too much drama, my friend. Let your dad call me, all right? And don't change your, your voice. Shame on you. Be a man. Don't hold your nose and speak like a kid. Do we have any adult Muslim he can answer what we showed you in the screen or anything else? Here we make them cry and we don't allow them to lie. That's that is their pain. They will go they will call a different Christian channel and they will claim that they are Christians, they became Muslims. You know, just so uh, go and look last week how many of them they called us claiming to be ex-Christians. And, and, and laugh. There's one of them actually called me, I think 10 days ago. He claimed that he was a Mormon and he become a Baptist down street. Do you remember? And the second I asked him a question, he started cursing me and he's a Muslim. Uh, can you teach about three Jesus, God, and soul? I want to learn more about Abel. Uh, my friend, first of all, to understand, understand yourself first. You as a human, you have, in, for us as a Christians, we believe that a human being have a soul and he have a flesh. Then when he get baptized, he received the Holy Spirit. He received the Holy Spirit. So now you are a flesh. The flesh have a soul. That will make you the animal. You call yourself a human, no problem. When you are born again, hmm, that make you receiving the Holy Spirit. So now you have a three. The Holy Spirit, your soul, and your flesh. Jesus, according to Islam, he's a human. He have a soul. He have a flesh. And he was supported by the Holy Spirit. In fact, if we search in the Quran, we will find that the only time the Holy Spirit appear is always when you talk about Jesus. Chapter 2, verse number 87, you will see. It says, we gave Moses the book, and then we gave Isa the miracles, and we supported him by the Holy Spirit. You will see that the Holy Spirit is not sponsoring Moses, neither Muhammad, neither Abraham, neither anyone, only Jesus. So Jesus now, according to the Stupid Quran, is a three in one. Jesus the man, the flesh, the soul and the Holy Spirit within him how Allah he support Jesus by the Holy Spirit and you know the funny is the Muslim they say to you show me one verse brother and sister I surrender Christian show me one verse said clearly that this is said and what God worship me look at them show me one verse it says that the Holy Spirit is an angel his name is Jibreel Where Muhammad he learned about the word Holy Spirit? Where he learned from? It's from the Christians. They do not know the definition of it. They do not know what Holy Spirit means. And if Jibreel is a Holy Spirit, that means he is holy. But isn't the Quran says that angels are liars? 
And this is why Allah, he ordered them to bow down. So how he is a Holy Spirit, and then he accused Adam falsely, and Allah ordered him, including all the angels, to bow down. The Quran in chapter 2 verse number 31 accusing the angels of Allah to be untruthful. So, you know, if we try to understand, either you want to understand or you want to just uh, make a question and refuse. The second you say you believe in God, that's mean God is almighty and almighty he can what we cannot. If it's impossible for you to be four and one in the same time, that is not impossible for God. If God want to be 100, he can. If you want to be 1,000, he can. If you want to be million, he can. He's God. So the Muslims are a hypocrite. When they want, God can do anything. When they speak to Christians, their God cannot do it. Do you see the hypocrisy? Either you believe that God is almighty, that means there is no limit of what he can and what he cannot. Or you believe that he is not almighty. Any Muhammadan? And actually, there is tons of verses making it clear that Jesus himself is three and one in the same time. As an example, if we go to a different verse, it says that Jesus is the word of Allah sent down to Mary, and he was a spirit proceeding from him, and he is the you know the the man. So three, he's the word, he is the spirit, and he is the flesh. And where the Quran saying that Jesus, the word, is coming from? From heaven. I'm not coming from heaven. You are not coming from heaven. This is the Quran. Read and love. Uh, you see, we are not even reading our own uh, uh, books. This is their book. So who is Jesus? Jesus is the Word of God. This is exactly what the book of John, chapter number one, verse number one says. In the beginning, it was the Word. So Allah is saying to us, Aka Muhammad, don't say except the truth about Jesus. Okay, he's a messenger. Wonderful. The Bible confirmed, chapter one of John, verse number 14, and the Word became a flesh. That is Jesus, the messenger. And he is his Word. Exactly, chapter 1, verse number 1 in the book of John. He is the Word, and the Word became a flesh. And He is a spirit proceeding from Him. Do you see it? It's I in G. So what is Jesus? Three in one. In the stupid Quran, He was a Word, and He is a Word. You see, the Quran is not saying He was a Word. He is saying He is a Word. Correct? People, do you, do, you, do you agree with me? It says that. Does it say he was a word or he is? He is, right? So the messenger of Allah, this is the man, and his word. He is the word. He is now the word. Which sent down to Mary, wonderful. So what Mary should receive? She did not receive a sperm. She did not receive semen. She did not receive a, a sexual relationship. She's a virgin. She received a word. What the word become? A man. John, chapter 1, verse number 14. And then he have a spirit, and this is spirit proceeding from God. Not a spirit created by God. Do you see it? So this is their stupid book. This is not my book. And yet those Muhammadan, they play deaf and they play blind and they say, we did not hear it, we did not see it.
It's in the front of you. The word, the spirit, the man, three in one, in their book. And the funny is the same verse says, don't say Trinity. Don't say three in one. The same verse. This is how stupid the author of the Quran. Well, he was busy with the ant speaking to Solomon. This is why his verses here are dumb and they are exposing him. Sola scripture show me where angels were with Jesus in the wilderness. I mean, why even a Muslim is asking, show me. Just go to Google and search the angels with Jesus. <laughs> do you think a Muslim really he do not know, he do not see, he don't have a computer, he don't have a keyboard? What a question is that? They, they play deaf, they play blind, they did not see, they did not hear. Uh, 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 and this is an example when, when some Muslim he asks question. Look at this guy. So if a Christian die and he went to heaven, who he will meet, the Father or Jesus both? What, what, what a silly question. The Son and the Father. Well, what a silly question. Look at this. I mean, the Muslim now is confused. Okay, so when I go to heaven, I will see who? Okay, I will see the Jesus or the Father. Jesus is there. The Father is there. You will see the world. What is the problem? When you as a Muslim, you go to heaven, to what you will see? You will see the ass of Allah. You want to show your reference? And then Allah will invite you every Friday and he will have three singers. Can you tell me why three? Three singers every Friday, Allah, David, and Muhammad. Three. All your religion is based on three. How a Muslim, he can pray to Allah, he have to do three acts. When he do ablution. If I go right now in front of your eyes, just to show you how this awkward religion is. They say they are against Trinity. But every single behavior in this cult is based on the Trinity. I will type the word three. Nothing more, nothing less. Let us make it shorter. Times. Times, three times. Look what happened. Even Muhammad, when he shake hands, he say it three times. When he makes supplication, he make it three times. When he clean his arm, his hands, his foot, his three times, three times, three times, three times. When Muhammad he speak about Moses and Adam, they are debating. He repeat the same sentence three times, three times, three times. When he say Assalamu alaikum, he say three times. When he do what do, he do three times. Everything in this cult is a three time. And when they speak about Allah. They say in the name of Allah, Ar-Rahman, Ar-Rahim, three names. How many names Allah have? 99 names, which is multiply of number three, x the age of Jesus, 33, x three. And then they say to you, we are against Trinity. And how Islam came to existence? By three, Allah, Jibreel, Muhammad, the three Musketeer. And then they say to us, don't say three. Can you believe it? Three times, three times. Even when Muhammad, he wiped his ass, he used three rocks. Three rocks. That will hurt the ass. Hmm. Everything in Islam is three. Even when Muhammad, uh, he piss, he have to shake his penis three times. Let me show you. I'm making things up. Uh, 
uh, I'm trying to find in English. <clears throat> All right. Give me some time because you know I hate to to say something without which my reference. As you know, we don't prepare for things, so we are just showing you life. Let's see this hadith here. Here we go, you found it in English, good. The Messenger of Allah said, If any one of you urinate, let him squeeze his penis three times. You tell me why. What about four? What's wrong with this guy? Why he stuck with it three times? Am I making things up? It's in the front of you. This is the reference. And this is Sahih. So what we will do now? What will happen if you squeeze it? By the way, it doesn't say squeeze. This is false translation. It says falientor, which means shake it, shake it. Shake it. False translation. What do you mean you squeeze? I never heard of somebody squeezing his penis. Shake it. What a stupid translator. No, I'm afraid if Muhammad, he make them have it a fourth time, it might come off. The glue is not good and it's going to come off. I mean, if it's about being clean, well, isn't it fourth time will be cleaner? What about five time? So why three? Everything is three. Everything in this cult is a three. Do we have any Mohammedan anything want to say? All right, guys, I think we have enough for today. Uh, and you see, I called this uh, potato th uh, twice already, three times actually. He did not answer me. All right, let's call one more time, even though I need to go soon, but maybe we get lucky. Hmm. He's not online, brother. He is not online. What you can say, what you can do, Scooby, 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 do. He's a big sheik. If what is running away from him, you know, like, and I, I like the drama, you know, brother, Allahu Akbar, they are running away from us, takbir, brother. I remember when the Muslims they make a big celebration in the Middle East that they won the third cup of basket basketball in the world, military game. The third, brother. I think it was Egypt or something. But guess what? There was only three teams playing. <laughs> and people dancing in the street. And the flag and the music and takbir and Allahu Akbar. We are the third in the world. But there's only three teams, you idiot. There's only three teams. The whole championship. It's a stupid thing. Nobody joined. It was, I think, at that time, the communist, I don't know, like something like China and Russia, which is like Soviet Union, and that, I don't know what country. So, three, they are third, brother. We are the third. But there's only three teams. I mean, what do you expect to be the fourth? And there's, there's three teams. Uh, look, we, were, we were dying I mean from laughing at this stupidity and the TV and the and the, like the TV like today is a grateful day for the nation our team became the third 
for the world. Every one of us is so proud of you. Every one of us, he look up to you as an example. But they are the last. They are not the th what third. Potatoes. Anyway, uh, I, I might make little uh, videos and post them maybe not in this channel in Arabic. So to keep this one in Arabic, I mean English. And uh, download this video because I will not keep those things here. I mean, this guy is not even worth my time. But just to show everybody that they are just potatoes. And I'm sure now he will speak about me. He will call me names, etc. You know, but he will never dare to say, okay, this is my Skype. Call me. Actually, we have a Skype. You know, you know the thing. We know where they go. We know where they, we know what they say and we know what they do. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. I hope you have a good time. And until we uh, speak to you again, I pray to the Lord that he will keep you in good health and worth. And victory to Jesus. No name above his name. And no victory but his victory. Satan is defeated. The fiction is Muhammad is a laughable fiction. People are laughing and leaving Islam left and right. And Muslims, they are living the drama of the end of Islam. Even Muhammad himself, actually, he said that Islam will go back like a snake, like a serpent. It's, a, it's whole. It's Muhammad who described Islam as a snake, not me. Like a snake, like a serpent, actually. He used the word serpent to its whole back to its whole which means this is where islam came from and this is where islam will go back to you go where you belong to the whole thank you all may the lord bless you and this is your brother christian prince who was serving you humbly for today thank you